I'm Zoe Freer. I am sailing at the Hobie 18 North American Championships, and this is Joyrider TV. Hi, I'm Caroline, and we're at the North American Championships in Lake Quinault, and you're on Joyrider TV. Yes, that's right. 2023 saw the biggest Hobie 17 and Hobie 18 North American Championships in the last 20 years. In attendance were 13 Hobie 17s and 25 entries in the Hobie 18 fleet coming from the USA, Canada and Australia. 15 races were scheduled for both fleets with just one discard. The conditions really showcased what Lake Quinault has to offer at this time of year. I'm John Forbes and we're at the Hobie 18 North American Championships in Lake Quinault. We are in the beautiful Olympic National Forest here. Behind us you can see awesome scenery. This is the location where the Twilight book series was written about. We're on a beautiful freshwater lake and uh, we've got 25 boats in the Hobie 18 fleet here and about 13 or 14 boats in the Hobie 17 fleet. No wind in the morning meant a slow start with low fog and mist on the mountains until the mountains warm up and then the breeze kicks in at about one o'clock in the afternoon to be a competitor's dream with oscillating directions and wind strength increasing over the remainder of the afternoon. This allowed the race committee to hold at least four races on each day of about 45 minutes per race in winds ranging from six knots up to 16 knots by the end of the day, offering competitors a variety of conditions, so it certainly was not the same from one day to the next. Here we are on board for an exciting start with John and Caroline Forbes. In the Hobie 18 fleet, 18 of the 25 were mixed teams. The youngest sailors in the event were Eliana and Zoe, both just aged 14. Now here's Zoe to let us know her tips on staying energised on the race course. Hi, I'm Zoe and today we're on Joyrider TV talking about the importance of gummy bears, organic gummy bears on the boat. A real boost to the event was the entry of John Forbes, three-time Olympic and seven times world champion tornado sailor. He made the long journey to compete and to showcase his reimagined Hobie 18, as featured in a previous episode of Show Us Your Cat. Even though they'd been married for 37 years, this was actually the first time that John and his wife Caroline have raced together. John and Caroline won eight out of the 15 races. It could have been more had John not hit the first mark of race one whilst leaving the fleet and lost 10 places while doing a 360 degree penalty. The new licensed Hobie Cat manufacturer, Starting Line Sailing, had made available again new sails for the Hobie 18 class and were kind enough to release a new colour combination just for this North American Championship. The colour combo is called Quinault Sunset, which many teams took the opportunity to purchase just prior to the event. John puts his and Caroline's consistent results in the Hobie 18 fleet down to their superior upwind speed and height, which no other team could match. Forbes and training partner Richard and Zoe Freer started every race at the pin end, even if it wasn't the favoured end. This was to avoid any trouble at the often crowded committee boat end of the start line, where many teams gathered as they tended to want to go to the right side of the course. However, Forbes and Freer often debunked that theory by banging the left corner to always be in the top group, if not leading at the top mark in each race. Staying out of trouble, certainly a good strategy. This regatta was a great opportunity for John Forbes to show and promote his Hobie 18 reimagined updates 
to the North American teams. Whilst John couldn't use all of his reimagined updates at this regatta because they're not all class legal, it was still encouraging to hear that the majority of the North American teams wanted to adopt the changes. This would then allow all of the Hobie 18 catamarans to be given a new lease of life globally and the glass could continue to grow, particularly with the youth and female sailors who would benefit most from the reimagined upgrades. Boy, this is the Forbes and the Freers, and here we are at the Hobie 18 North American Championships, and you're on Joyrider TV. In the Hobie 17 fleet, there were 13 entries, all from the USA, including one female skipper. The class was won by Phil Collins, who had previously won 13 Hobie 17 national championships. Second place went to Paul Carter and third place to Bart Beck, last year's national champion. In the Hobie 18 fleet, in fifth place were Eric Bramlett and Jay Rosenbach. In fourth place, Richard and Zoe Freer. In third place, Ben Colwell and Luke Summers. Second place went to John and Della Hogue. Leaving first place for John and Caroline Forbes, pictured here with regatta organiser Paul Evenden. We've just won the Hobie 18 North American Championships at Lake Quinault and we're super happy. Woohoo! Thanks to everybody who made the event possible and for all of the competitors for making this such a great nationals. If you want to know more about the Hobie 18 reimagined, then check out this video where we go into detail looking at all the changes. Thanks very much. See you soon with some more on Joyrider TV.